What is going on guys, it is Kelly Placer today, put you guys in another video on the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day, I am doing just that. Without further ado, let's get into it, because, so I was on the web, you know, doing all my stuff usually, like, when I'm, uh, when I was about to go to sleep last night, and I noticed a big thing, man, that needs to kind of stop in the 2K community. When you're scrolling through the video feed, I noticed that I could not find one, like, positive video about this game, like, improvement-wise upon 2K18, all I was seeing, bro was like game breaking glitches or this uh glitch is ruining nba 2k19 and i was just like really i think we need to see more videos up on like the improvements compared to last year because although those things need to be fixed don't get me wrong those are big ones like 2k get your stuff right because those shouldn't even be happening but i wanted to i wanted to add some positive to the game because although the glitches are occurring they're going to be fixed and the game has mega major improvements already and the biggest improvement I have noticed on offense in particular, if you guys want me to see maybe me to do a defensive uh, biggest improvement, let me know in the comments below. But the biggest thing I've noticed offensively uh, when it comes to improving, making it more realistic uh, style offense is obviously the post scoring, guys. I don't know if it was just me, but I'm going to give you an example of why 2K18's post scoring was complete trash. I don't know if it was just me, but back when I played 2K18, specifically, for example, back in the my like, later, uh, the end of the game, like, I'm talking June, July, uh, my team cards would be released, pink diamonds would be released left and right, and, every, like, if it was a center or a power forward, pretty much every card would have a 95-plus post scoring, it didn't matter who the power forward or center was, it just, uh, those cards were OP, with all the Hall of Fame post scoring badges. I copped a few of those cards, and the biggest thing I noticed from those, when I was even doing my post phase, my post hooks, I missed 90% of my shots, uh, my post shots that I, that I were taking, and I'm not, I wasn't taking bad shots, bro, I was out there really doing the good stuff, the only post dude that was effective in that game was the drop step, the dream like up and under, you would do this stupid thing where, uh, your opponent would jump late, but he would somehow get the block with, like, his hip, I don't know how to explain it, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, if you play 2K18 uh, or play now, you will definitely understand when you, if you attempt the dream like up and under. Well, why did I call it the dream like up and under? That was stupid. That's the badge name that last year. But if you attempt the up and under, I don't. I haven't ran into it this year, but it, it probably is still a thing, but not as common. If you like would attempt the up and under, you would get that stupid animation 90% of the time, and hardly ever you'd get a successful up and under, even with the Hall of Fame badge. This year, however, it's really different. Post scoring is so much more fluent. And you'll be able to make their post hooks and post fadeaways. Because last year, but you couldn't make their post hooks or post fadeaways. It was impossible. It would either uh, barely hit the rim, or it would like hit the rim and like bounce 30 feet over. It, or it would just bounce and miss entirely. I don't know what I was talking about for 30 feet. But post scoring was so broken last year. I think that's the biggest improvement upon NBA 2K19 because this year you can big men used to just be in 2K18 in particular they used to be mainly uh like you couldn't utilize their post game you couldn't utilize their post rings it was mainly relying on their dunking their rebounding their defense and their shooting if they could shoot this year however you can add a fifth thing into it which is post scoring and it's probably their if they have the post scoring stats is the most effective out of all their stats because I'm gonna tell you post scores can light it up this year so I highly encourage you all if you guys do not know really how to work the post at 2k and you play a lot of play now or you have a center even even if they're not a post scoring archetype archetype uh, I highly encourage you guys all to learn the post game because you can mess some people up even without the stats that are like in the 90s if you have 75 7 I mean to 80 post hook or post fade you can knock them down every once in a while but if you have a 90 post scoring it's a gg because you will be able to make shots consistently it's almost like op now because i actually have a post scoring ar archetype i think it's a 76 right now um on my other account will my friend does and why am i saying mine my friend does and i went over to his house and he didn't even have any badges for his guy and i was on park post fading post fading and then i was doing hooks guys i highly encourage you end of the day make a post score you guys will see what I mean, or incorporate the pro, uh, post game on 5-on-5, five five, play now online, whatever, because you will be dominant. That is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's try to focus more on the positive 2K community. Why are we only focusing on the negative? I mean, we need to focus on the negative, but let's mix some positive in there every once in a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is Scully, and I'm out. Have a great day, guys.